Freedom is the highest of all natural law. Freedom to take or spare a life. This is just for kicks. The choice is free. Keeps throwing the blood though. At least I can't. Well, actually, he can chain you because the blood holds you in place. So that could still end up badly for me. But his health is very, very low. I wonder what happens if I just deplete his bar without cha without chaining him. I don't know if I did that to any other boss. It'd be a, it's a mystery to me. Shit. Woo. Pretty much got the timing and everything down on this guy. For now. One F up could spell disaster, so. Just might get too happy. Or cocky. Just looking, just looking not good for him. Health is really low. I wonder, if, I wonder if he has two bars. <laughs> no that would be brutal. I mean, he'd still it'd still be doable to beat him, but my God, would it take forever? Yeah, he has two bars. Let's see. Let me get a nice hit on him. I think I'm supposed to chain him now. Yeah, because he's not going to just KO on me. There's no escape. I got to chain him. Ready to give up now? There's no escape. What the fuck is he doing? There's no escape. Don't fall in that. He's trying to end it. Oh, that's fine. I don't mind taking damage. I don't care. So he does have two bars. This fight is just beginning. There's no escape. How dare you? Stop him in a I'm stopping him in his tracks. There really isn't any escape. It's not like I can jump down. Oh, he's chained. Yeah, I'm just gonna try to deplete his life because chaining him is like. Doesn't seem like the best idea! <laughs> oh, yeah, that shit was funny though. Get 
Yeah. What a tedious battle. Ready to give up now? There's no escape. Tough stuff right here. I wonder if his, if his health gets even lower, will he? Oh shit! Ready to give up now? There's no escape. Mm. Just narrowly There's escaping, no escape. getting slashed to ribbons. Now he's got a long way to go. I wish you would throw more blood. That's a funny sentence. Shit. There's no escape. No, oh, we're almost there. Well, not quite. But you know, we're 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 getting there. How dare you? Ready to give up now? This is a long fight. Uh. How dare you? There's no escape. It's hard to chain him. I think I just gotta uh, sit there and like. No, 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 no. F that. There's no escape. gonna stick with chipping at his power that's, uh, that's just that, that's that's all I can do that's all I'm gonna do because uh trying to bind him oh shit almost ran into it ready to give up now jeez it's not that he's hard he just has so much no Crazy. Almost there, guys. He's almost there. He's almost there. He's on his last leg. Although I don't know if that guarantees victory. Just getting his bar gone. I have no idea. Might still need to bind him. And if that's the case, I have no idea. There. Uh! 
<laughs> There's escape, all right. Like, just the blood you're talking about. I'm escaping it, all right. It's almost there. We got this. Almost there. Yeah, uh huh. Uh huh. Ah! This is no time to be mispressing the triangle button. Ah! Oh, I did it again. Ah! One more. Yeah, I'm ready. Still not dead? He has no health. <laughs> Dennis to the rescue. Lisa. My dearest Lisa. You always were a spirited child. But that's enough. Now be a good girl and, and grab I. my hand. What's the matter, Alyssa? Don't you want to live happily with me for all eternity? Oh shit. Suicide. You belong to me forever! His eyes. His eyes are really creepy just now. Ooh, upskirt. Oh, don't tell me it's not over! Okay. Alyssa takes strength There's from no me. escape! Today is Alyssa's 10th fuck is going on? The ruder powers have become no visible escape. any time. Lisa is growing up into a. Oh, I don't have the what you call it. I don't have the. the uh, I wish for nothing more than to, to watch over now. her all her life. But I know that is not the case. The step she takes towards adulthood is There's a step no away escape. from me. Must I leave her? The fuck. I want so much to be with her. Oh shit, I didn't see that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was just running around like I'm screwed. What's gonna happen to me? Oh yeah, we got the CG going. This is it. <laughs> yeah. Moon prism powers activate. I won't allow the ritual to happen. Uh, never. Ah! <laughs> That's badass. Ah! Woo! Right in the gonads. Jeez. It's your granddaddy. Oh, what are you trying to do to her? Grandpa was a sicko. You see what he was trying to get Alyssa to do? Terrible. Absolutely terrible. Alyssa! Mom? I don't like the way Alyssa looks in cutscenes. In the CG. Mom. She looks cuter in the in-game graphics. Finally, it for Clock Tower 3? Clock Tower 3? Is it finally done? Has it finally been cemented as completed? Can the G virus finally check it off his, his list? It looks so. Everything's crumbling. Weren't we in there? Oh, boy. Not good. Not good. Alright. Oh, boy. Oh, I was I was liking her little toga, sexy little toga. It was it was hot. Yeah, I don't like the way Alyssa looks in the CG scenes. I like that pose though. Damn, is everybody dead? Dennis, mom, granddad. Dennis. Oh. Alyssa. Thank God Dennis is Dennis. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis.
They haven't Mom. shown his face yet. This could be a jump we scare. We did it. We did it, Mom. They haven't shown Dennis's face. This could be a jump scare. Or not. Oh, I thought for sure he was gonna like have his grand her granddad's face or something. Is this it for That's it? <sighs> Alright. I mean the scene of happiness at the end was kind of a you know, it was, it was kinda of weak. You know, they could have had a little bit more. They could have had Dennis say something funny. Could have had something, you know, her look off into the sunset. You know, whatever. Wow, well, there you go. There, there it is. Finally done with Clock Tower. Clock Tower 3. I'm digging that music, though. It's not bad. Man, that was a long boss fight. Oh, my God. It's going to be like two videos right there. Like a video and a half of me fighting that. That's a good thing. I decided to cut the video and do that off camera because it took me a long time. It didn't take me like forever, but longer than you would want on a YouTube video to, 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 to get itself as low as I got it. But I'm very happy I decided to do it the way I did and brought you guys back in for basically his whole second bar. I didn't know he had a second bar. I thought once, he, once the green got low, I was going to be able to finish him. I probably could have finished him quicker if I was able to bind him. But that seemed really hard, and I wasn't up for it, but I am happy that Clock Tower 3 is finished. It is done. <sighs> I don't know if there's any extra modes for this game, I doubt it. So if I ever play Clock Tower 3, I guess it'll just be the main campaign, I don't know. I don't remember if there was difficulty levels, it was so long ago when I freaking did a new game, so I have no idea. I don't know, they, the, the the last scene should have been a bit better, instead of just her hugging Dennis. I guess her mum is dead, so her mum, I guess her mum is really dead. Which is kind of sorry, which is kind of bad. I mean, they hugged each other at the end. They had an embrace. I figured her, her mum was okay, but she clearly, uh, she clearly wasn't. I wonder what Dennis is going to tell his, his mom when he gets home. Alyssa's well, gotta have to go live with them. When she goes back to that boarding school or private school or whatever it was. Alyssa's well, going to have to live with Dennis. You know, I, I kind of want to know what happens to Alyssa and Dennis. The adventures of Alyssa and Dennis. Just what happens next. Probably nothing. Man, I just recorded for like 20 minutes on this particular uh, on this particular uh, recording. This set, 20 minutes, mostly fighting that guy. I can already tell this is gonna be really long. And I wasn't talking during much of it either, cause I really had to focus. So <laughs> you just got like a whole bunch of gameplay. I was like cussing and grunting and moaning, but that's about it. I like the music right here. I wonder if they're gonna give me anything, any new game plus, anything. Probably not, and that's probably just all she wrote. I'm really digging that music though. No, Clock Tower didn't have bad music. It was, it was, it was, it was decent. It has a real, this game does have a real cinematic feel, though. Ah, oh, robot. You guys did the motion capturing? <laughs> you guys really went overboard with Dennis. I don't know. I wonder what other games you guys have done. You should probably look that up. See if they're just as funny as when Dennis was, when Dennis first arrived. Whenever there was a lot of motion, man, they, they look a little bit too, I don't know, they're a little bit too intense on everything. It's quite hilarious. 
Oh, these are some long credits. These are some long credits. I'm like, wow. I'm about to fall asleep over here. Alright. It's like usually when you start seeing logos, you're like, okay, that's it. The credits are almost over. But no. We saw logos earlier, and the credits kept rolling. Hopefully this is the last set of logos. No. Oh, oh, there's a long pause. I see the blackness. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, if I show the director, this is over. I like that track, though. That was nice. It's real intense. Capcom, in true Capcom credits fashion, they always gotta have the logo slowly scroll up onto the middle of the screen like that. Cool. Rooter points. Wow, that's it? 60,000? How was I getting points? I don't remember a point system at all. Or am I just forgetting? Okay. A new element has been unlocked. Save game? Alright. Okay. Save over my, uh, my oldest save file. Which would be, damn, five hours and six minutes. Not a long game. Just like, what, six hours? A little over six hours? Wow. Guest wing, first floor, file two. Okay. <laughs> Clock tower three, everybody! All right! <laughs> okay. I want to see what the extra bits are, if there are any. Produced by Capcom. Can we skip it? Thank you. Okay. Same menu screen. Theater. The hell? The hell could that be? It's just watching the cutscenes over again. I always like games that allow you to do that. Oh, yeah. Gallery. R1. Okay. Oh. I like it. Yeah, because the cutscenes were nice. They should have this in there. I, I bet you they don't have any of the in-game cutscenes. Let's see. This one looks like an in-game cutscene right here. <laughs> Damn the lights. Oh, this, 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 oh, I was about to say. It only plays on that small screen. Oh, that's awesome. I like that. Alright, I get it. I get it. It's nice, you get to watch all the cutscenes. Yeah, it's a real cinematic game. I like cinematic games. Alright. Oh, shit! That scared the crap out of me! Oh, it's just. Just Alyssa was just there. I'm like, oh my goodness. Is that it? The art of Clock Tower 3. Wow. <laughs> So all we get to see is Alyssa's model, or what? Next, back, exit. That page flip sounds very familiar. Hmm. Quan Chi reject. Some Hamlet rejects. Oh, creepy guy. His coat didn't look all that textured in the game. Cervantes. Oh. Wow, they really, uh, put, like, this is, like, a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff. I don't know, I wonder if people even care about this when it comes to Clock Tower 3. Okay. Oh, that's, that's awesome. They didn't ever show anything like that, did they? Or was it, like, a ghost? I don't know. Yeah, the, that, 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 that stage, that area, the hospital area, did not look that detailed. I don't remember any writings of blood on there, any, either. Huh. Alright, anyways. That's nice. That's where Dennis almost got his balls ch chopped into. Oh, that's that. That's all of them. The art of Clock Tower 3. Oh, Alyssa. Oh, so cute. Oh. So I guess it's just the art.
when you went in the gallery. All right, okay, okay. And this is just there as our guide into the gallery. Well, all right. Well, I'm just gonna check and see if there's any new. Uh, if I load up that, that that save file I just did, what happens? Is there's no extra mode like no type of mini game mode that I can see. So let's see what happens when I load up. Maybe I'll have a different outfit on. Who knows? That would be awesome. Maybe I hope our toga outfit is available. That would be that'd be sweet. Let's see what we got here. Mm-hmm. 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 Cause that toga outfit was way better than the uh the puke green jacket she's been sporting throughout the whole game. Skip that. Uh, what 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 new features do I have? Uh oh. Wardrobe key. Well, where's the where's the uh wardrobe area though? Maybe I gotta go to Alyssa's room. Let's see. Files, key items. Key to wardrobe in Alyssa's room. All right, let's do it. Let's see what we got. I wonder will she actually wear that in like the uh, the um end game, the end game engine cutscenes. I don't even know how to. I don't even remember how to get to Alyssa's room. No, it's not that way. No, it's this way. Alyssa. All right, let's check out this. Let's check out the new duds she has. Ah, uh, I remember I did check this, and it said something like it was locked. But the way they said it made it seem like it could be opened. Whoa! Switched to outfit. Oh, what the hell is going on? Huh. Huh. That's the original. I'm already wearing that. Alright, let's try the leather. You know how I am with leather. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Stop chasing my ass! Stop chasing my ass! You can't have this ass! You will never have this ass! Never in your life! This is ruder ass! In leather! <laughs> That's awesome! That's awesome! Uh, okay, let's check out... This one right here looks like the worst, so let's get this out of the way. I don't know what that is. It's way too much clothing. What the hell is this? What the hell are you wearing, Alyssa? Oh! Never mind. I take it back. This is probably the best costume of them all. Back it on up like a U-Haul truck, Alyssa. Back it on up like a U-Haul truck. Yeah. Just like a U-Haul truck. Back it on up. Back it on up. Beep. Beep. Alright, enough. Interesting. Alright, let's check out the, uh... It looks like a whole lot of denim. I think the toga outfit's my favorite one. I can already tell it's going to be my favorite one. Unless this one... Ha ha ha! Wow! That is nice. <laughs> Look at this. Ride him, cowgirl. That's funny. So many little outfits for little Alyssa. My cute little rooter that I saved. And of course, my favorite one, the toga. Yeah, well, it looks a little different. Yeah, wasn't wasn't like this like one sleeve out? She didn't have stuff trailing her. Oh, they 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 killed it. Looks like she has too much clothes on. Looks like a regular nightgown. Oh, they they ruined it. They ruined the toga outfit. Well, let's see if uh, I'm pretty sure it does show up in the in-game cutscenes, because it is in-game cutscenes. But let's just see how it looks to be actually doing something in the in-game cutscenes. We'll mess with this door real quick, get scared, and then walk out. That's awesome. If this wasn't a blind Let's Play and I was just Let's Playing this game, I'd definitely have her in one of these outfits. Yeah, we don't need to see that. We get it. We just beat the game. Alright! Let's check out this last cutscene. Oh, what?! Total rip-off! I do it! She's back in the puke green blazer! Terrible! Ah, I'm disgusted. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Alright, this is the G-Virus. 
And when I get back, I guess I'm gonna do a retro, like not a retrospective, like my final thoughts on the game, kind of a review, sort of, kind of, quick little thoughts on the game, possibly. If not, this will just fade to black and the video will be over, because I was just fed up with it, but I don't know. Stay tuned. If not, thanks for watching. G virus. Okay. Let's play Clock Tower 3 Blind is complete. Now, I'm going to go over my final thoughts and impressions on this game. So, uh, let me start off by saying this is not a scary game. And I came into this title expecting it to be scary, especially in the beginning. It seemed like it was going to be so. It was a little deceiving because the atmosphere and everything was right, real spooky and everything when Alyssa first arrived to her uh, house or mansion or whatever, the Hamilton estate. And it really did seem like, yes, you were in for some serious scares and chills, and, but it did not deliver that. It's not a scary game. But to its credit, it is very atmospheric in a spooky way. It has great, great atmosphere, great production value, a great score, and uh, pretty good voice acting. The story was intriguing enough, it, it wasn't like a masterpiece or anything like that, but it, it was enough to keep you playing, to see what happens next. Although the atmosphere did take a, uh, uh, well, just the overall style and feel of the game did take a turn away from horror, really, and just into the, the supernatural, with with the axe guy, and then the, the, the enemies afterwards, I forget what they're called, the, the, the twins or whatever, the brother and sister. Uh, the scariest, it, like I said, it wasn't scary, but the moments that had the most hor horror elements in it were the beginning area, with the hammer guy and the corroder. Those are the only guys that really felt like a horror. Like, coming into this, I was expecting this to be, like, a serial, like, you face off against serial killers. And really, there was only two people who were, like, serial killers. The rest were just weird. You know, I mean, they had their victims, but they didn't seem like slashers. You know, because it, it, it wasn't in like a town setting or, or an urban setting or anything like that or any type of. It was just weird. You were in sewers, you were in like ancient temples and ancient areas. To me, the game for me was at its best when it was in the when it was in like urban areas, so to speak, with the corroder and the hammer guy, and you're getting chased around houses and stuff like that. That was the part that I really thought the game was going to be totally about, but it, it really did a 180 halfway through. The controls, of course, I complained about that throughout the entire LP. They, were, they, were, they, 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 they weren't all that good, but they were functional enough, but still, you know, as far as the gameplay goes, the gameplay was decent. It, it wasn't bad for seeing as you're basically defenseless and you're just throwing things at the, at the uh, enemy. It should have had more items you could pick up that you could use against them, like, like maybe a bat, or Alyssa could grab a knife. She could slash, she could actually defend herself beyond just a holy water. But, you know, it, it did create some tense moments that all you had was the holy water and, re and refilling that. See, the holy water, I feel, if they had, like, knives and bats that Alyssa could defend herself with, maybe even, like, a gun with, like, a, a bullet or two in it, as, like, a last resort type of thing, that, that would have helped the tension and uh, made it more horror instead of so supernatural. And the game wasn't too difficult. It was, it was a pretty easy game for me. It wasn't too bad. It was a, a nice relaxing playthrough. Um, and it wasn't puzzle head. There wasn't really puzzles. It, it, you didn't really get stuck. Although I did get stuck, but like it was stupid stuff. Like if I had just been in, in a different frame of mind at the time, I probably would have got it right away. So the things I got stuck on were, you know, I don't really think that that's an area that the game was like one of those games where you can try to figure out what to do and you just can't forever. This game, I don't think, has those elements, but... Yeah, it's a real easygoing game, and uh, uh, if it was going to ease up on the horror, it should have at least kept the tension going. I, I felt like the tension wasn't all the way through on this game. It could have been better as far as tension is concerned, but um, as far as uh, a rating I'd give this game, I'd give it a, a solid 7.5 maybe out of 10. You know, it's decent, it's good, and you know... If you like horror games or games with the, just that atmosphere, I think you would enjoy Clock Tower 3, you know, if you like horror movies. It's probably a game that where you should just watch a whole bunch of horror movies, slash your 80s movies, and jump into this. So, uh, yeah, Clock Tower 3, those are my uh, final thoughts, and I hope you enjoyed me reminiscing about this underrated gem that is Clock Tower 3. And I encourage everybody to go out and give it a shot, give it a try. A decent game that's not too frustrating at all. 
Alright guys, thank you for checking out this blind let's play of Clock Tower 3. I know watching blind let's plays can be a test of patience, but hey, if you stuck with me, thanks. And I hope everybody enjoyed. And hopefully you guys will tune in for future let's plays by me, the Game Virus, also known as the G Virus. And yeah, later. Thanks for watching. Ha 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 ha!